right. Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Aaron West from Elzra. That's correct. Looking yep. at Catacombs and Castles, which That's is right. a new standalone game. That's right. Uh, that will be familiar to Catacombs fans, but different. That's correct. That's so, right. So, yes. what was the goal behind designing this game, and how does it differ? How does it stay in details here? The, the, the key thing that we needed was in our lineup was something that emphasized the competitive play. Okay. So in Catacombs, third edition, one player is controlling the game for the others. Okay. And in this game, uh, it differs in, in the sense that the, the, the two teams are symmetrical. So we noticed with our fans there were some discussions related to taking Catacombs third edition and turning it into that competitive style experience. How do we do it? How do we tweak it? How do we balance it? Et cetera, et cetera. So we said, okay, this is an opportunity That's to right. Let to us do take this. charge of that. We will, we will do that for you. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Okay. okay. Um, so now how does it work in this environment? So with um, we each have a team of heroes. The, that, that's correct. Yeah. So we have a castle team and a catacomb team, and this is the first title that allows you to play as heroes from the catacomb. Okay. Okay. And these heroes are compatible with the ones from Catacombs Third Edition. Okay. So there is that compatibility there between the two titles. You can take uh, heroes from this game and play with them in Catacombs 3rd Edition and vice versa. Okay. okay. But this game has two key modes to it. Uh, the first mode is team mode and the second is boss mode. Okay. And team mode is the core competitive experience, okay, where you've got uh, different numbers of players, up to eight, controlling teams and essentially doing what we what's been described to us as flicking paintball. Okay. So you're moving you're and shooting. Nice. Yes. So I'm so I'm flicking my disc and then I'm doing like say my ranged attack. Not like that. That's right. Yeah, the board isn't very flat due to travel, but there we go. Okay. That was a terrible shot. <laughs> um, but uh, so anyway, so that's the that's the basic premise behind team mode. Okay. The the boss mode uh, allows you to experience a form of Catacombs 3rd Edition. However, instead of doing the dungeon crawl and exploration part of it, you jump right into the, the battle with the, the, the so-called big bad at the end. And uh, that big bad is either the Castle Lord or the Catacomb Lord. Okay. Okay? And so that gives you a flavor of it, but it actually plays a little differently from Catacombs 3rd Edition. And that would make sense because you don't have the opportunity necessarily to spend that time exploring leveling up. Right. You're kind of right into it. Right. Okay. Uh, I guess we should mention as well, when you mentioned the castle mode, uh, have a double-sided board as well. That, that's correct, yes. Okay. Hopefully it stays flat there. Yep. Yes. Uh, where we'd set things up and how, how does this differ from the other side, where I have to actually storm the walls, come through the gate? Uh, we have one side defending and one well, you, you can, in fact, play it that way if you want to. You can apply whatever theme that, that you would like. The idea is that we wanted to have these obstacle pieces be dynamic. Okay. So in, in Catacombs 3rd Edition, the obstacle pieces are fixed in the game board. Okay. So they, and that lends an experience somewhat like pinball. As I'm flicking my disc, it will bounce off those obstacle bumpers and you can do all these different trick shots. Right. The same thing is applicable here, however, we've got different shapes. And the, these shapes are designed to be heavy enough to stay in place on the board under most circumstances. Mm -hmm. And they also complement the board's artwork, so you can create a kind of a three-dimensional experience. And setting the board up is actually part of playing the game. So there are some rules about where we can place these obstacle pieces, and we have to fill out all of these four quadrants of the board. Okay. So we would be doing we would be doing this, and we can put them where we where we like. Mm. Tree. 
exactly. Okay. So something like that. So you can see how each time you play, these can all be in, in different places, which really increases the replayability. These cylindrical obstacles are in fact, again, compatible with Catacombs 3rd Edition. You can take these and you can use these directly in the Catacombs 3rd right. Edition game boards to give um, th those boards uh, some uh, a new appearance in a sense. Okay. okay. And, and you can see here they don't they don't move when we flick against them. That's right. And we just have the barrier just to keep everything on the table. Yeah, that's correct. Which yeah. Is good. Yeah, um, that, that's right. Yeah, it, exactly. Yeah, we need the uh, we need we need the walls so that we don't go uh, we don't go hunting all the time. Exactly. That's right. And that's uh, that's an integral part of, uh, of Catacombs 3rd Edition, and it's an integral part of this title. We improved the, uh, the wall system. We now have these little plastic clips that keeps everything in place, right. keeps it nice and, and rectangular. And it's a large uh, perimeter here uh, because we'd like to ultimately uh, offer a nice rubber playmat Okay. is what got a nice 24 by 24 inch play mat uh, that's going to lay really nice and flat and have that uh, beautiful uh, finish to it that really really enhances the right. the, the the discs um, traveling over the surface okay. we have a new plastic lamination now uh, for all of our boards uh, that we tested such that we can protect the boards even better without affecting the uh, <laughs> the discs as they travel across them right. okay so that's it's that's uh, team mode, and it's designed to be played very quickly. Um, it's it's finished in about 30 minutes, okay. and you're looking to eliminate the health tokens that your your team has, and it supports up to eight players. Okay. So you can collectively held by your team and not individual heroes. Uh, it it by default we yes. explain that is collective. However, you can in fact play it where they have their own health too. Right. We give you a lot of different options in the box as to how you want to do things, okay. according to your group. Okay, all right. Thanks very much for the overview. Okay. Catacombs and Castles, anything else to mention? Or? Um, well, it's... Uh, Release date? Um, it, yeah, it's at the printer right now. Um, okay. it, production expected to be completed at the end of June for the retail release, um, and hopefully hitting stores uh, sometime in late July, I would assume, right? Early August, something like that, if I had to guess at the moment. Thanks very much, Aaron, for the overview. My, and Castles. my pleasure. Thank you.